With so much content whizzing around out there, there's only one storytelling platform that helps you keep calm and stay informed and inspired. Flipboard. Flipboard curates the world's stories so you can be smarter in your work, life, and play. Choose from thousands of topics to personalize Flipboard and get the latest stories from the best publishers and experts delivered to you 24-7. When you see stories you want to save or share, tap the plus button to add them to private or public collections. It's that simple. Used by millions of people every day, Flipboard is how people move themselves and the world forward. Get started now at Flipboard.com. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. The E-Commerce Minute, episode 339. In today's episode, Amazon Prime Day outage caused by Oracle database move. Amazon's Prime Day did not go off without a hitch. In fact, the e-commerce giant's website crashed. The disruption also caused one of Amazon's warehouses to experience a technical outage that resulted in the delay of thousands of packages. According to a report from CNBC, the outage was caused by Amazon moving its database from an Ohio warehouse off of Oracle's to its own technology. The report also states that the glitch delayed 15,000 package deliveries and wasted $90,000 in labor costs, not including the hours spent by engineers troubleshooting. Amazon CTO Werner Vogels responded to the CNBC story with a tweet saying that an application issue at a single fulfillment center led to a slight delay in shipping of products from the facility. The tweet said that there was a temporary situation where the database was very slow and the application experienced intermittent timeouts. Amazon is reportedly planning to move completely off Oracle's database by 2020, but the folks at Oracle think it's a long shot. At the Oracle Open World keynote last week, Oracle CEO Larry Ellison compared Amazon's database to a semi-autonomous car saying, you get in, you start driving, you die. The outage shows the challenges that Amazon will face and how difficult it will be to replicate that level of reliability. Well, maybe. (laughs) It's Amazon, and most of the tech world runs on Amazon <laughs> right. now. So I'm not sure that uh, Oracle saying those things so, is, is, is really clear. Right. So do you think it's just Larry Ellison being Larry Ellison and just, you know, going <laughs> poo-poo? <laughs> yeah, of course it is. I mean, there's a lot of people all moving off of Oracle, which is really funny. Um, I mean, you know, listen, Oracle is still a huge database. It's still a relationship database. and. There's plenty of tech out there that's faster, better, and, and, and doing well. I mean, there's still financial institutions are still in Oracle, and Amazon's move is not the first company that's doing it. Okay, so let me ask you, I'm not a database person, but I understand how business works. Why is Amazon moving from Oracle? Is it a cost-saving move, or is it just, you know, we want everything in our sandbox, or what, is, what does this move signify? What's well, multiple, right? It's it's cost savings. Um, it's moving off of that framework completely. It's doing their own thing. I mean, they have plenty of tech to play with. So put it in their own sandbox, you know, and, and keep it. Um, it's also like, you know, look how many services run on top of Amazon now. You know? Right, right. You know, everybody, you know, outside of the tech world, everybody thinks of Amazon as just, you know, shipping and products, but a humongous tech company that runs a lot of things. Okay, so we, we understand the reasoning, but just a year ago, Amazon spent $60 million on Oracle software, and they've been on Oracle for 10 years. How difficult is this going to be? I mean, this doesn't sound like something where you just copy a file and move it over. <laughs> it's not that easy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, a lot of people, found. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people in the tech in, in outside the tech world think it's just easy, you know, just copy and paste and just acknowledge right. it. Just move it. And just move it. And put a USB drive and you move it over. Yeah, we've dealt with a lot of that. Um, but no, I mean it's it's gonna be complex, so it's gonna take them years. Um, and then they'll just slowly move over. Um, you know, for them it's planning, it's figuring it out. It's, you know, they move pretty fast, but they test stuff out. Well, how does this happen, though? I mean, how does this happen on Prime Day of all days? Um, well, overloaded. I mean, uh, poor planning on that one. Um, they should have moved it a long time ago. I'm not sure why they did it this way. It's something, I mean, some connections. And listen, any database has to connect over something, over a network. It could be anything. It's what, kind of, what kind of variables would, would trigger an outage? <laughs> everything between them. <laughs> everything. I everything. I mean, between, Oxygen. Yeah. True. I mean, the server was too high. The network was too full of speeds. You know, like you think about it, like on a prime day, everybody's trying to order stuff, right? So it it causes a delay. And you also got to remember that 
when people order from Amazon, that site that I'm ordering from is also not the site you're ordering from, right? The server is not in the same spot that you think it in. Like they don't have one server for everything. Right. 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 So it's spread out. So some people have seen it. Some people don't. It depends on, you know, they had delays in just a warehouse. Who knows? Yeah, that's true. Cause when it happened, we were all talking about it. I didn't see it for a while. And then I saw it and you had seen it. Right. Because you're connecting to a different server or I'm right. connecting to a different server. So it's, it's, it's definitely spread out. There's a lot more intricacies of this than just, I'm just connected to one server and this is not working. Uh, it's a computer just in my, on my uh, desktop. Well, Amazon saw it was me and they were like, well, this guy spends a lot of money there. Let's hook this guy up. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, these guys have servers upon servers upon servers, right? Server that warehouses, happens. right? Yeah, server warehouses. Server warehouses. So just poor planning around it. I mean, and and then end of the day, it could be anything, right? It could be a lot of different uh, variables, but poor planning that they did it on the day or near the, near prime day. Uh, I'm I'm trying to think of my my uh, quotation about poor planning. Poor planning prevents uh, something. And uh, what's that? The thing? three P's. Poor Four P's. Planning. Poor planning. Measure twice. Cut once. All right. So valuable lesson learned by Amazon, we hope, and we'll see what happens with this move with Oracle as Oracle seems to be very skeptical about it, but we all know that Amazon can put the money behind it and the energy and the talent to make it happen. So uh, I wouldn't, I, I would bet on Amazon and not on Oracle on this one. Yeah. You know, they might have a little bit of money more than Oracle. <laughs> a little bit. I don't know. I want to see Larry Ellison and Jeff Bezos in a yacht race. A race, yacht race to the death. That's a different story, my friend. That's that a, I'm boat. putting my money on Larry. That's, yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, in the boat scene. Now, now maybe with Rockets, Bezos might win. Yeah, when it comes to boats, Larry is winning that one. That's pretty easy. All right, so your lesson today, proper planning prevents poor performance. Bart, yeah. do you have anything else to add? That's what we do every day here. That's right, planning and being proper. Uh, <laughs> we'll show notes are your e-commerce minute. Dot co. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.